हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर सारिका स्वामी एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ पेडियाट्रिक्स एट सरदार पटेल मेडिकल कॉलेज बीकानेर सो आई एम हेयर विद अनदर वीडियो व्हिच विल टेल यू हाउ टू डिफरेंशिएट बिटवीन अ केस ऑफ सिनकोप एंड अ सीजर सो मेनी टाइम्स अ चाइल्ड कम्स टू अस विद जस्ट अ हिस्ट्री दैट चाइल्ड फेल डाउन दिस इज अ कॉमन कि बच्चा गिर गया so uh, the thing uh, few common things which come to uh, our mind is that either the child fell because of synco or child fell because of some seizure activity so to differentiate between the two is very important because line of treatment is different in both the conditions so what are the points in history clinical examination and uh, uh, the investigations which can help us in differentiating between the condition these two conditions so uh, let us proceed with the differences so uh, when we take the history see one important thing is that i witness the the comments by i witness is very important in uh, both these conditions because the one who has witnessed the scene can tell us the right things so when we ask uh, in cases of synco what we find that uh, uh, It, they they can give that child was standing which is a common uh, common history in cases of syncope then in case of syncope there are most of the time there are uh, many of the time most of the time there are precipitating events in the form of either because of excessive pain or excessive fear or prolonged standing or uh, sometimes after micturition so these are the precipitating events which are commonly seen in cases of syncope so i witness can tell that what the child was doing and what was the scene during the event then uh, when we ask about how the child was looking so in case of syncope uh, you find that child uh, was looking very much pale means it was it, the child was looking white and the child was having diaphoresis which can be a prodromal symptom in case of syncope or which is most of the time uh, like in vasovagal syncope then a uh, uh, convulsion that means abnormal uh, body movements they can be there uh, also in case of uh, syncope but mind it that just 30 seconds or less time of that activity can be there in the syncope then uh, the past post events means the uh, the events after the uh, the child has fall or child has uh, awakened from that uh, scene then uh, there can be urinary incontinence in case of seizure but it is very rare in case of uh, syncope then post ictal means the after the event the confusion and headache they are more common in case of seizure while they are very uh, rare or uh, they are not present in case of a syncope then cardiovascular features in the form of bradycardia or palpitation or sometimes tachycardia they can be there in case of cardiac cardiac syncope and uh, they are not there in case of seizure and uh, if we go for eeg then uh, eeg is most of the time normal in case of synco so uh, uh, and in case of seizure then the child uh, is coming has come to you with the the same that child fell down then then you have to ask whether uh the same things uh, uh precipitating events are very rare in case of seizure activity two can be there that the child was being given uh, anti conversion medication that was stopped by the parents or uh, there can be lack of sleep that can precipitate these seizures so they are not in the form of fear or pain or like that then uh, if we uh, uh, have a look of the child from the eye witness then cyanosis may be there but most of the time the color of the child is normal in cases of seizure activity then if uh, conversion is there then that is prolonged that is not so brief as in cases of syncope that is it will be more than 30 seconds duration then the uh, post ictal events in the form of post ictal confusion or post ictal headache they are common in cases of seizure and obviously cardiovascular symptoms symptoms are not there in cases of seizure activity and eeg is most of the time abnormal in case of seizure so i hope these points will help you uh, 
uh, in differentiating between uh, the whether this the particular patient is having a syncope or is having seizure activity so if you uh, if you find that this video is helpful for you please like and subscribe thank you so much